Clean news, my wonderful people. You'll be shocked, just as I am, as Halaji Atiku Abubakar dares Nigerians. You know, recently what he did to Deborah, uh, you know, the young lady Deborah Samuel has come to light. And many Nigerians are saying, how can we trust you? Someone who cannot, you know, stand for what is right. You condemned the killings that were done on the young girl. And later you went on and you deleted the tweet because um, you were threatened that if you don't respond, you know, uh, if you don't respond immediately by deleting that, that uh, tweet, that those who have done that to that girl will be brought to book. You will not be voted for by the North. And because of that threat, you, you just, you, you succumbed. You know, guess what Atiku tells Nigerians? Deleting of Deborah Samuel's tweet, right? Is that the bone of contention? Express your anger at the 2023 polls. Atiku threatens Nigerians. Daniel Bauer, the spokesman of the Atiku Abubakar presidential campaign, has told Nigerians to express their feelings over the former vice president deleting the tweets he, is, he posted to condemn the cruel murder of a Christian girl, Deborah Samuel. Bawa, a special advisor to the Deputy Senate President on Legal and Constitutional Matters at the National Assembly of Nigeria, said this when he appeared on Arise Television this morning show. Atiku has posted a twist hours after Deborah Samuel was killed and allegedly for an alleged blasphemy in her school. But he later deleted a tweet when he was called upon by Northerners that if he leave that tweet, he would not be voted for. Atiku has stated, started his campaign and Nigerians are warming, wondering what will become of Nigeria if he becomes the next president of the country. To add to the controversies, Daily Post reports that Atiku on Saturday, during an interactive session with the Arewa Joint Committee held in Kaduna State, claimed that Northerners do not need Igbos or Yoruba candidates in the forthcoming election. Asked why the former vice president deleted his tweet, Bauer said, if Nigerians are not satisfied with Atiku, explanation on why he deleted his tweet on the killing of Deborah Samuel, they, will, they should go ahead and express their feelings at the polls. There is no hard feelings about it. They should go ahead, tell Nigerians how you, Nigerians should tell him how they feel and, you know, make their intention known. There is no need to be dabbling between opinions going from pillar to post. Okay? So it, it, it is what it is. If Nigerians are unhappy, and they should make it known. There is no need trying to, you know, dabble on a matter that, you know, there is, there is no point. So if you look at it very well, is this the person who does not care? You know, we, we always liken this to a girl in a relationship with a prospect of marriage. I know that marriage is a very, you have to be careful. You don't just jump because every other person is married, you want to be married. So it's again, election. We don't just vote because it's election year, we need to vote. Who are we voting for? Because by the time you get married to that person, your life, it's either make or marry you. Yeah, it's, it's, one of either, it's one of the two. So you have to be careful. Anyone that is often rebuked, and does not take heed, we suddenly find his neck broken. Uh -huh. So that's what we are saying. This is a man who is telling you that if you're unhappy, eh, guy, 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 take the next exit. He's telling you to your face. And yet some people will try to explain to us. I wonder what they think. I don't, I don't, I don't know if they think we are deaf, blind, or dumb, or we are daft. So we don't understand anything that is being said. We don't have an understanding. Maybe that's what they think. Because I don't know what else to think or say, you know. Instead of to come out, if you're really somebody who is ready and, uh, and apologize on unreservedly, saying, I am truly sorry. What happened was this, was that, if that's how you feel. Oh. However, they are really telling us how they feel, by the way. Maybe it's just uh, God exposing to us who these people truly are so that we can know, uh -huh. so we can look before we leap. This whole leaping before, without paying attention, see where it has brought us. Atiku Abubakar is not, in fact, he cannot even solve the problem of his party. How much more Nigerian's problem? You don't need a seer to tell you about that. You don't need a seer. Uh, if you're looking for a seer to come and reveal that to you, I don't understand. Can't you see for yourself? Can't you see what's going on? This is a man who cannot amicably keep to his words, to the promises he has made to people. He can't keep to it. 
then he's coming to tell you that he will keep his words to you. How blind, how dumb, how deaf can you be? The, the signs are all over the place. But yes, you choose to ignore it. And then you cry out. I don't understand. Is it that you just want to be sharing your matters all over the place? Or you can't just sit down, take a deep reflection and think about your actions before you make them? Because as, a, as an adult, you are responsible for every co the, the consequences of the you are responsible for every action you take. And you will live with the consequences of the decisions you're making. This is a man who went to Wiki according to Wiki and said, since the Northerners have been accepted to participate in the uh, primaries to pick a, a presidential candidate, if a Northerner wins, then the chairman of the party will have to change as a result of blah, 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 blah. This is a man, according to Wiki, who also came to him and said, ah, you have to be, when he won, you have to be my vice presidential candidate and went on air and said something different. So, on a more serious note, he's neither here nor there. Truth cannot be accorded to him. You cannot trust him. Is that the person you want to make overall leader? Again, like they will say, the ball is in your court, Nigerians. It's in our court. And we have to make here while the sun is shining. We have to make real, real tangible, well-informed decision on the, on the situations that are being posed at us. We can't just run around mismatch no clear cut understanding no definition know where we are headed just spending energy at the end of the day it's a futile it has no sense it makes no sense you're going nowhere you're neither here nor there nobody understands where you're going there is no direction there is no description you're just there how do we make sense of that well sadly these are the days that we are in and nigerians need to begin to expand more on some of these occurrences and things that are happening so at the end of the day we can truly be a happy people because the choices we are making we are going to live with them sadly you and i are going to live with the choices with the consequences of the decision we are making so just remember that we are making this decision together and uh, we're making it together uh -huh. and what we are doing now there is a result the aftermath of what we are doing there are consequences uh -huh. that's the point i'm making so when we sit down and we are doing particularly nothing, we're just watching, we're just looking, when we should make decisions, we refuse to make it. Not making decisions is also making a decision. Can you see what's happening? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Bye for now.